going to show you how to adjust the temperature setting for a floor radiant heat system. If you're not familiar with a floor radiant heat system, um, it's very efficient because hot air rises and all of this hot water tubing is inside the floor itself. So the floor gets warm and warms the air in the room. Now, a floor radiant heat system works with a thermostat just like any other heating system. However, um, we've had ours for about 10 years and you can tweak it so it runs a little more efficiently once you understand what the air patterns are and performance of your system. Usually in a floor radiant heat system, there are separate control knobs for each loop within the, the floor. And the reason for that is because you want to be able to control where you need the heat the most. Um, some parts of the building may have a lot more outside air coming in because it's the part of the room where you have a front door, for example. Maybe other parts of the house um, have no windows or um, no outside air, and so that doesn't need um, as much boost of heat as, um, as your front entry, for example. So you can adjust each loop to receive more of the hot water or less of the hot water. So we have found, for example, that in this back room, there is very little loss of heat and it tends to get almost hot back there compared to the front room. And so we can effectively turn off this entire loop, not have any water going through these tubes at all. And the entire slab is going to stay warm because all of the hot water will be pumped into the slab, but only in this area. Concrete, of course, is gonna stay a pretty uniform temperature and not to mention the ambient air in the rooms uh, are just gonna help even that out. So this can be completely turned off. And when we do so, we don't, we're not dumping as much cold um, liquid back into the boiler because of course the heat um, is lost as it travels its path until it gets back to the boiler. So this is going to save us on some energy. So the front room is labeled one, the back room is labeled number two. We are turning off loop number two. Now the concrete holds heat for so long, it may take a day or two before we see a change in the air of the room. We don't have to make that kind of adjustment very often, but if you need to tweak your system, that's how to do it.